run our way through Nelson in Lancashire. Uh, a couple of days ago, one of our local election candidates here was contacted uh, by uh, one of the chaps who works in the area, who told him about the sign he'd seen in a house window offering the house to let to a Pakistani family only. Uh, so he got in touch with us, and a couple of days later, I came here to have a look, to see for myself. And yup, it's there. So we're going to have to take some pictures of it now, then we're going to go to the police station. Because uh, back in 1976, a man named Robert Ralph advertised his house for sale to an English family only. Uh, Robert Ralph ended up, ended up in prison under the Race Act for that. In fact, he ended up on hunger strike and nearly died for advertising his house for sale to an English family only. It was deemed illegal, that was it. But uh, now, these years later, it appears the police aren't even interested when a local Pakistani community break the law, discriminate against us in our own country in the same way. So we're going up to the house, have a look, get the footage, get the evidence, because otherwise he might not believe me, and then we're going to go down to the police and put in an official formal complaint of a crime and demand that they take action. So here we are, see it, as we were told, for rent, three, bed three bedrooms, just Pakistani family. Absolutely illegal. The police have been told about it, uh, but they said they're not interested. Well, we'll see about that. We're going to go down to make a complaint to make sure the police set about enforcing the law and stopping its discrimination against us English in our own country. Let's see what happens. Um, there's a house in Railway Street, number 185, which has a sign in the window saying it's a three bedroom house to rent. To a Pakistani family only. Yes, I've, I've heard about that. Now, the chap who made that complaint said the police said they weren't interested. Yeah, I think somebody is, is, is dealing with it, yes. Right. Yep. Um, had a word with this, yep. this chap. Mm -hmm. It's not, about not very, it's not about not very nice. An Englishman was sent to prison and nearly died in prison in 1976 for advertising his house for sale to an English family only. So it's not, not very nice, it's completely illegal. Yes, sure. No, of course not. No? Yes. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's, it's still in the window, and obviously the complaint was made several days ago, uh, and it's blatantly in breach of the law. Okay, right here. So can I have a number for the station, or so that I can get back and give you my number as soon as it's changed? Can you just tear for? I don't know what's going on. Well, I'm, 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 I'm campaigning in the area. Obviously, I'm standing in the election of the MEP, uh, and uh, it's something to say. The, the chap certainly, as far as we were concerned, seems to have had a brush off and it's not acceptable, the law needs to be enforced. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll have a word with the sergeant and ask him to contact yeah. you and okay. discuss it with him sure. as okay. to what's happened and, and what's been discussed with him and the staff and yeah. like what he's doing with him. Absolutely. So just bear with me, I'll yeah. see if he's on. If he's on, you can have a word with okay, him. Okay, I'll hang on. No. Yeah, I'll right, sure. okay, Hopefully okay. my new number will come through by then. Yeah. That lady here has gone to talk to the sergeant because she's told me that the, uh, the police have had a word with the man who owns the house, had a word, asked him to take the sign down because it's not very nice. So there you go. As I said to her, there's an Englishman jailed, nearly died in prison in 1976 for advertising his house for sale to an English family only. Since then, no one from our community has, I don't think, dared to do such a thing. It appears that their community are basically allowed to, and the police might have a word. We'll see about that. Very interesting here on the notice board, we've got hate crime leaflets, hate crime what is it? And apparently it's uh, false marriage, 
uh, honour based abuse and criminal offences motivated by race, religion, sexual orientation, transgender, disability, age, and gender. Um, but there's nothing here that I can see about grooming. No, see, that's not a hate crime, is it? Because it's only our girls. Mm. And see girls and black girls in some areas, we don't count. They don't count. We've got here Syria travel information and advice. This is to inform the local community to make sense, safe decisions and not go to fight in Syria. Little quote on the back from the Telegraph. Four British citizens have died fighting for Syrian rebels linked to Al Qaeda. It's fear the country's civil war were increasingly attracting individuals from the UK. So um, this is a little bit of advice suggesting they really shouldn't go. But as I say before, all the hate crime, but where is the leaflet warning local English kids about, and their parents about the problems of grooming? Nowhere to be seen because we don't count. Yes. Yes, please. Yeah, that's fine. That yeah. Okay. Here? Yes, that'd be great. Yeah. Yes. So that, that's the number, and if you just ask. I'm here till eight o'clock. Could you just right. read that one or one number? Okay. I'm I'll get through to you at eight if I get the number. And you can give me the number. Thanks very much. And yeah. then I'll, I'll right. explain what it's about. Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's great, thank you. Just one more thing, can I have a copy of your leaflet about grooming, please? No, I haven't. But you must have one, because you've got one about hate crime against other communities, and grooming is a hate crime against our community. There's not, no, no. Nothing here. Have you seen one about grooming? Um, I haven't, no, no, I haven't, no. Okay, no. I'm not surprised. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, so the uh, lady's going to get the sergeant to phone me back uh, and uh, tell us what's going on. I'll try and record that call when it comes through and keep you posted. But uh, we're not going to wait step for brush off more or less. That poster is coming down. Action is going to be taken. If the police won't remove it, we will.